Good morning, everyone. So I just arrived to Islamabad. I arrived yesterday, and I'm seeing other friends. Islamabad is pretty different from Lahore. It feels like people here have more money, or well, at least maybe that's just the area I am in. But you can see the houses are nicer, the cars are nicer. It's also closer to mountains. Uh, yeah, so altogether it's uh, it's a different experience from uh, the Pakistan you discover in Lahore. So I know there is a very famous mosque here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look and also just gonna have lunch. And I've seen there is a little bit of hiking that is doable. So we'll see what I can afford to do in the day. After a very nice lunch, I decided to embark on a walk immersing myself in the city's atmosphere. As I strolled through the city streets, I couldn't help but be captivated by Islamabad's unique blend of modernity and tradition. Next to the very modern highways and the planned city, you could still find roaming chickens and goats, reminding me, if needed, that I was still in Pakistan. There is a lot more green space here compared to Lahore, which is a very nice change. So right now I'm going to a place called uh, the Pakistan Monument, which uh, is quite recent. It was uh, built in the early 2000s, and it's a way like, to symbolize the unity of uh, the Pakistan nation. Yeah, it's supposed to be very, very well designed and very nice, inspired by Islamic traditions, but with a lot of modernity. So looking forward to it. Really beautiful. So you have four main petals, which represent the four largest cultures of Pakistan. So Punjabi, Sindhi, Pashtun, and Baluch, as well as three smaller petals, which represent minorities. So from Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. And on the petals, you can the main petals. You can see a lot of murals representing. Uh, important historical moments of Pakistan as well as important historical sites like you have the mosque in Lahore, you get like the Halal Fort, so it's pretty nice, uh, very modern and very beautifully made. After visiting the National Monument, I couldn't help but stroll around and discovered an amazing point of view on the city. It was surrounded by flowers and blooming trees. I took the time to admire the landscape, but then it was time to move to the next stop, which was Faisa Mosque, the mosque for which Islamabad is super famous. I've arrived to Faisa Mosque, which is the other big thing to see in Islamabad. So it's a recent mosque, but it's actually one of the biggest in Pakistan. And it's really modern and very cool looking. So I had only seen photos of it, but I think the real deal is quite impressive. And I really just like the star they, they build it in. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can get inside. With its central hall allowing more than 100,000 worshippers to gather and pray, Faisal Mosque is the second largest mosque in the world. 
The mosque was named after King Faisal bin Abdul Aziz, King of Saudi Arabia, who visited Pakistan many years ago and decided to finance the construction of the mosque. Designed by the renowned Turkish architect Veda Daloke, the Faisal Mosque is a masterpiece of modern Islamic architecture. Among its specificities is the lack of traditional domes and arches, as well as strong angles and geometry. I really enjoyed this unusual mosque that had a very serene atmosphere, and that was amazing to take pictures. I'm doing a short hike in Islamabad, so in Islamabad uh, National Park or something like this. Uh, you have uh, supposedly a nice point of view from uh, further up the mountain. And I really hope you'll be able like, to see Faisal Mosque from there. That would be amazing for sunset. And also I've seen monkeys, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. As long as, I'm not, as long as I don't get attacked by them. After a good hour and a half of hiking, I reached a very lively place with a panoramic view of Islamabad, and it was for sure the best place to admire the sunset. As the day was ending and I was reflecting on my day, I realized that Islamabad was far from the idea I had of it before coming. It is a very modern city, but it doesn't mean that it isn't interesting, far from it. I really enjoyed this other side of Pakistan with its modern architecture and close by nature. For me, it is definitely the best gateway to start one's journey in Pakistan and avoid a too strong cultural shock like you would get in Lahore. Islamabad is definitely an unexpected discovery and I would recommend not missing it if you come to Pakistan. If you enjoyed this episode, don't hesitate to like and subscribe and get ready for more content on Pakistan as I will start my journey to the north of the country towards Hunza and Skardu Valley, my favorite places in Pakistan. On this, I wish you a great evening and see you very soon. Tschüss!